My name is Comrade Sonny Ofehe, an environmental and human rights activist from the oil rich Niger Delta region of Nigeria. After many years of neglect and environmental disaster resulting from oil operation by the big oil companies, the people took up arms against the Nigerian state and the multinational oil companies in the Niger Delta region. A new militant group called the Movement for the Emancipation of the Niger Delta, popularly referred to as MEND, emerged. As a non-violent campaigner, I felt the need to engage this group and call for a peaceful means to resolving the crisis. In 2009, I was invited by the group to meet the leader, who was referred to as General Boylove, in their hideout in the creeks of Bayesa State. It was sad to see young men in their 20s holding sophisticated weapons in front of me, venting so much anger on their inability to go to school and even get a job. A dangerous trip it was. I went with three Americans and a Dutch cameraman. I sat down with the General Boylov to hear from him why the group decided to take up arms against the state. He has this to say. And you know, the Nigerians oppress the people. And if you look into it, the Niger Delta people are the people that feed the nation. But nothing is being paid back to the people. Uh, that is why we call Nigerian government tyrants. You see? So, like now, if you look into the Niger Delta, the people are suffering in total abject poverty. Nothing to write home about. The host communities, people produce oil. At the end of the day, everything goes back to the politicians and the Nigerian states, the oppressors. So I think it's high time we fight back. So that is why we decide to go on this violence. And uh, back in the days, our people go on play card, dialogue, and all the rest. You see, it doesn't work. You have to change your ways. I think this is the only way we have to use it, tackling the Nigerian state because the Nigerian state understands the trigger play more than the dialogue. The main group succeeded in disrupting Nigerian oil production after a series of attacks on major oil pipelines and kidnapping of oil expatriate workers. The production capacity dropped from 2.3 million barrels per day to just 700,000 barrels per day. And at that stage, Angola became African leading exporter of crude. The Nigerian government was forced to negotiate with the group and a general government amnesty was granted to the militant group. General Boylov became a very good friend of mine and visited the Netherlands many times for business and for conferences. In one of those visits, I met with him at the Schiphol airport in Amsterdam to ask what he thinks of life after militancy. Also to ask if he has any regrets since the situation in the Niger Delta didn't change. We hope um, we'll be able to get enough information that can give you a general overview of who this character is, why he decided to, to go into militancy, and what has been his life after militancy. I contacted every angle. I did so much consultations and everything. And I was advised to take the peace, and I, I stood by it. I'm not regretting, and I owe nobody no apology. And today, I found out that uh, the peace we took at it was the right step in the right direction, but. But I will tell you that peace without justice is negative peace. And for today, I think it's a, it's a record that we fought for a right, and it was just a cause, it was a just cause. And we are still watching the government.